hello my lovely writers. So I wanted to talk to you today about something somebody said to me which is life moves in cycles. And I thought that was just such a great phrase. My friend's father used to say this to, this to them, life moves in cycles. And you might have noticed this in your own life generally. Um, we have cycles where things are going really well. We have cycles where things just don't feel like they're going our way and everything feels a bit tough. And it's making me think of that phrase, you know, things come in threes, when bad luck seems to come in threes and you think, okay, that's the third thing that's gone wrong this week, surely uh, that's it done now. So everything goes around in cycles and that is the same for our writing life as well. Everything goes in cycles. I will bet that throughout your writing career, your writing life, um, since you started wanting to do, to do this, even as a hobby, you know, just as for fun, there's been cycles when you have been so prolific. You have been so enthused. The muse has been with you and you have just, boom, there's not enough hours in the day for you to get all the words down. You're so excited about this. And then we come around to that other side of the cycle where we just dry up, you know, there's that feeling of being stuck, what some of you would probably call a writer's block, but that real feeling that nothing, nothing is moving, nothing feels right. And you're very critical of your own writing and um, you're critical of the story, you're critical of your characters, everything you feel critical about. So that goes round in circles, even in cycles, so even when you're published and you are building a career and you're maybe writing a series of books, there's still cycles within that. There are going to be cycles where you're loving the series you're writing, cycles where you're a bit bored with it and you want to start a new series. Within one book, there is a cycle. There's a cycle at the beginning when you are super excited about this. And if you're a planner, you're so excited about putting that plot together. Um, that feels really, really exciting. If you're a discovery writer, you're just diving on in there and that feels amazing too. And you just, you're loving what you're doing and what you're writing. In every manuscript for every writer I know, there then comes a point, usually 70, 75% the way through the book, where you hate it. You hate the story that you're writing. You absolutely hate it. You just wish it was done already or you wish you'd never started it. And you're very tempted to start another book, Shiny Penny Syndrome coming in and you just want to move on to the next thing. That is a normal part of the cycle as well. You come out of that eventually. You've got to be persistent. Tenacity, this is where it comes in. Um, your resilience, you come through that that part of the cycle of hating the book that you're writing and then you start to love it again and by the time this book is ready to either go to an editor or go out into the world you are feeling happy and proud and content and excited about the hard work you've put in about the story you've created out of nothing the characters you've developed out of nothing it's a really magical part of the cycle and then you'll start the next book and you'll have that same excitement again and then you'll have the other part of the cycle where you are not not loving the book that you're writing and on it goes and on it goes. So life comes in cycles, your writing comes in cycles, just be aware of that, that even if you're feeling rubbish about the book you're writing right now, keep going, dig in, dig deep, show your resilience, show your tenacity and keep going till you get through that part of the cycle and into the bit that you enjoy the book again. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's me for today. I hope that is helpful and will keep you going through the cycle. All right, take care. Bye.